Welcome to part 3 of Mission Parameters for MapPilot Pro, covering the more advanced mission type options. First up, we have Linear Mission, which is used for mapping areas that are long and narrow, such as roads or pipelines. When you enter Linear Mission, you will notice the rotation is replaced with number of passes. As the name suggests, you can change how many passes the mission will fly. To adjust to where the start and stop waypoints are, we retain the ability to use the rotation gesture to swap the flight path direction 180 degrees. Due to the expected long-range nature of linear flights, the mission is defaulted to connectionless. Connectionless flights mean that the images are taken on a timer rather than controlled via GPS location from the app. Next up, we have sampling missions, which are designed to sample a portion of the area. There are two new height options for sampling missions, safe and survey height. The green lines are the safe height, which should be the height well above any known obstacles, and the purple lines denote the survey altitude height, which can be much lower than the safe height. As opposed to normal missions, which have overlapping images, sampling missions will have images that are spaced out to allow for statistical sampling measurements. So if we say we want a sampling rate of 35 and 25, we are saying we want 35% of the area to be mapped along the path, and 25% of the area across the path, which will result in about 8.75% of the total area sampled. Sampling missions allow for higher resolution sampling of a field with added precaution for entering and exiting the survey area. This is why you will always see a boundary between the survey area and flight lines. In the event you have flight lines going over the interior angles of your survey area, we provide a toggle within the safe height panel to toggle on and off applying the safe height to those interior flyovers. And this can be seen as well with the terrain plot. The last advanced mission type is what we call spot check. A spot check mission will take an image at each boundary marker at the survey altitude. This can be seen on the terrain plot view as well, where you can see it drop down at each boundary marker to take a photo. Spot check missions use the same safe survey height differentiations as sampling missions. So we see green lines, which are the safe height between boundary markers. And if we zoom in, we can see the red lines for the altitude transitions. We don't see the purple lines because it's a single point where the image will be taken. Spot check missions take as many images as there are boundary markers. Because spot check missions don't use overlap or rotation, those buttons are disabled. And the same rotation gesture can be applied to swap the start and stop endpoints. And that concludes the advanced mission types in MapPilot Pro.